We were able to capture for less than a million dollars uh, everything that we dreamed of for seven or ten million without rebuilding our sanctuary, uh, without just, you know, tearing it down. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I, I, we've, in fact, the sanctuary was going to be phase two of, of our, our plan, but now we've moved it to phase four, the very last thing, even if we even have to do it because of the quality of what we got for less than a million dollars. We probably have so, saved seven to ten million dollars in the long run. When we walked into the worship center, this space, my first impression was this church is dead. But as I met with the folks and got to know their hearts, uh, met with the staff, I quickly began to realize that this church has life and uh, is full of wonderful people. It was just not a space conducive for what we were trying to do as a church, and that was reach unchurched people. And it was also not conducive for the style of worship that we were moving to, uh, a more modern worship experience to reach people who are drawn to that. So we began uh, an effort to uh, put together a master plan. And in all of those conversations, we came to the conclusion that we had to build a new worship space. Uh, because we just did not see how this worship space, our current worship space, uh, could be re renovated in a way that communicated our passion and what we were doing uh, as a church. And so that's when we decided to have Paragon 360 come down and take a look at our facility and help us dream, uh, help us understand uh, what we might could do with this facility. When they came down and met with us and began to look around, uh, uh, it was neat to see how their team began immediately when they stepped into this room. Uh, just their creativeness began to, to flow and they began talking about different things that we could do in here and that uh, we didn't have to build a new sanctuary, that we could renovate this one. Uh, for a fraction of the cost and we were shocked. After taking the uh, project to the church and getting approval, we uh, put Paragon to work and within a few short weeks we had our first uh, design concept which was perfect uh, for our church and that first set of design drawings actually ended up being the final set. Um, there were not many changes at all to the project, which was very exciting because we feel like Paragon really captured our heart and our passion, our vision for ministry. And this was not a small project. It was not just lighting or sound. It was complete renovation. They're able to see it all as a whole. Uh, in, in their planning and everything. And so it goes beyond just the lighting. It goes way beyond just the audio and, and visual. Uh, everything they did for us in our sanctuary, it all ties in and it's unified and it's together and, and it's, it's, it's beautiful. If you have different people coming in, you won't get that. Whereas they plan it all and, and it, it made it easier to work with them. Uh, I think our relationship with them is tremendous. I love the fact that uh, they come out and they, they build relationships with us. For the first time in years, they're excited about inviting people to church because they're proud of this facility and they, they, they see life in our church. They're passionate about wanting to reach people now. Um, it has ignited uh, uh, our church members to uh, to want to reach out to people and to, and to do new ministry and, and uh, it, is, it could not have been received better. They are hands on and, and they work with you. They, they, un, they try to understand who you are, what you want, and when they filter that through, they bring back exactly, they, they understand who you are. Something else that the church has been very excited about is that in the renovation, 
we spent less than a million dollars. And they never thought that this room, people who have been going here for years, even when we began the project, were apprehensive because they just could not see how this room could be transformed like it has been. And after the, the project's been finished, they walk in here and they are shocked and they're amazed that a 1980 facility can feel like 2013. In theory, it was a renovation, but in reality, to me, it's a new sanctuary. Sure, I can look at these beams and they, they are a part of the, the, the old sanctuary and the new sanctuary, but it's a new sanctuary. Those beams have life. They have meaning now because they're all tied into this, this bigger theme of, of, of old, uh, contemporary, and future. And uh, this sanctuary feels nothing like the old one. It is a new sanctuary. It is a new experience. It is a new feel. Uh, and it is a, a new day in the life of our church.